And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, and it's great to have everybody here on this Thursday, December 21st. We have a lot to talk about on the show today, but before I get into that, I just want to remind you guys, uh, tip or donate, get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link, that is streamelements.com slash slash tip. Again, that really helps the show and makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers, again, that is streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork.tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So with that, let's get right into what we are going to discuss on the show today. So we're going to start off the show uh, by talking about the AFC South because um, a lot has changed recently. You now have a three-way tie between, between three teams a uh, tongue twister there for some reason. Um, a tie between three teams. Um, so we'll go, get into that. Then in the uh, second part of the show, we're going to talk about the uh, updated MVP odds. I'll go through that. Um, you know, because obviously with you know the few weeks that we have left in the season, you know, um, you know we're getting closer to the end, and uh, you know at uh, at the NFL Honors, that's when we're going to find out. So you know the week before the Super Bowl. So. Um, but yeah, that's just something I, I just want to take a look at, uh, from here on out. Um, cause there was definitely a, a change, um, after this past week and there's definitely going to be more changes as we get towards, uh, the end of the season. So, um, yeah, that'll be what we talk about in the second part of the show. In the third part of the show, we're going to talk about what's going on in Pittsburgh with the Pittsburgh Steelers because, uh, they're reeling right now. Um, you know, and, uh, there's some, there's some things that, uh, could be on the way, uh, changes that could be made to the team in the off season. Um, not that I've heard anything or seen anything, um, but it, it's really just speculation. Um, but we'll get into that. And then in the final part of the show, we'll preview tonight's game between the Saints and the Rams. That'll get us kicked off for week 16. So that's what we will do in the final part of the show as we normally do. And that'll be it. So with that being said, let's get right into... The first topic, which is talking about uh, the AFC South. So, right now, we have a three-way tie um, between the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Houston Texans, and the Indianapolis Colts. And it really looked like the Jags, well, for, for a while, the Jags were going to run away with this thing. Um, it did get interesting uh, at one point, but, you know, then the Jags, they won that huge game in Houston, and it pretty much just looked like, you know, the division was over. But since then, um, the Jags, they've now lost three in a row. Part of that is to do with injuries, also just the inconsistencies of, uh, of the team in general. Because at certain points, you're like, wow, this team looks really good. And then there's other points where the team is, you know, like, what's going on? Uh, and, and, that was, and that pretty much sums them up. Uh, Sunday's game pretty much sums up the Jags. Because, you know, you have Trevor Lawrence you know, running with the football and then just dropping and fumbling it. The Ravens pick it up as they're driving. You had what happened at the end of the first half where they didn't clock it in time um, and they weren't able to get points before the end of the first half. But then you also have, you know, that long pass to Jamal Agnew for a touchdown. And it, it's just, uh, it, it's very strange. Um, but, yeah, ever since the, the Texans game, uh, yeah, they've lost three in a row. They lost to over, in overtime to Jake Browning and the Bengals. Now, part of that was because of the fact that Trevor Lawrence got hurt. Um, if he doesn't get hurt, I think they win this game. But he ends up getting hurt. Um, then you end up losing to the Browns. And then you lose to the Ravens. So you, now you've lost three in a row. And their final three games are at Tampa, um, home against the Panthers, and then at Tennessee. Now... Trevor Lawrence was in concussion protocol, so it's possible that he misses this week. And if he does miss, I mean, I, I don't this week. I don't see how C.J. Beathard is going to come in and beat the Bucks on the road. I just, I, I don't see it happening. Although the Bucks, they're an inconsistent team as well. I mean, they're coming off of a, a great game against the Packers. Baker Mayfield, obviously, the perfect passer rating in Lambeau Field, the first opposing quarterback to do so. So all signs point to the Bucks winning if you know Trevor Lawrence is out. Um, but they do have the Panthers on their schedule. They got the they're at Tennessee, which again divisional game, but they should win that. 
um, if Trevor Lawrence is back. But it's going to be tough. Now, the Texans, they're dealing with their quarterback being injured too. Because C.J. Stroud, it looks like he's not playing this week. Uh, it looks like it's going to be Case Keenum again. And they got the Browns. They got the, t- the Titans at home. Both those games are at home. And then you have um, the last game uh, in Indianapolis. So, uh, you know, they need to get Stroud back. Now, Case Keenum, obviously, that was a huge win, um, you know, that they, that they pulled off in Tennessee. But, um, you know, they need to get C.J. Stroud back um, because that's ultimately who is going to, you know, get them to the playoffs. And, um, you know, I mean, the other thing, too, is, I mean, the wild card, it, it, a team can, you know, make it in the wild card. I mean, the Colts right now have a wild card, um, but things can change after this week. But... Um, and the Texans are tied with them, um, you know, in that. Uh, right now, the Jags, they have the tiebreakers over these two teams. So, but, yeah, everybody's tied at 8-6. and six, But, yeah, I mean, the other avenue is the wild card. But, you know, I mean, you'd want to have win the division so you can host a playoff game. Um, but, yeah, I mean, with C.J. Stroud being out, it's going to be tough. And you got the Browns coming in who are playing good football, Joe Flacco. Um, you know, obviously a tale of, you know, two halves with him, but... Still, I, I mean, this Browns team is is pretty good, and um, you know if the, they're missing uh, C.J. Stroud for this game, it's it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game. And then um, you look at the Colts; they got the Falcons this week, um, which I look as a, look at as a trap game. Um, but who knows? Then they're at home. Then their next two games are at home against the Raiders and the Texans. So um, I still like the Jags to win the division. But I mean, I don't feel I don't feel great about it because I, I I just feel like they, I mean, they were the favorites, but you know, I mean, I guess the, everything's kind of leveled out now because now you got backup QBs, you know, for all these three teams that are, you know, possibly playing uh, this week. Um, you know, you're gonna see Keenum again. Minshew's been Minshew um, has been playing for most of the year, and you got C.J. Beathard, but. I mean, I give the edge to Case Keenum and and um, and Gardner Minshew over Beathard. I mean, you know, Case Keenum has won a lot of games. I mean, he's won playoff games, you know. Um, and Minshew, he's had to come in, and he's won his fair share of games. Uh, C.J. Beathard, he's never really been that good whenever he's had to start a game. And that's going back to when he played with the 49ers. Um, you know, it's not until they got Garoppolo and now with Purdy that, you know, they're a good team. Um, but they also, I mean, th- those teams also didn't have as loaded of a roster as they do now too, but still, I mean, I don't think, I don't think CJ Beathard was really going to do anything. Um, he's more of a, he's more, he's a backup quarterback. That's what he is. Um, but he's one of the, uh, he's not in that, that top tier of backup quarterbacks. Um, cause Minshew, I think is definitely up there. Um, you know, Keenum over the course of his career, I mean, he, he was a starter too uh, for a little bit. Um, you know, I mean, the, the Broncos brought him in to be their starting quarterback and obviously didn't really pan out. Um, but you know, when he was the starter for the Vikings, um, you know, when Sam Bradford got hurt, he was good and they made the playoffs, the Minneapolis miracle, you know, and, and they, they pulled off a miracle the other day because they were down by two scores and they were able to come back. And they were missing a lot of starters, um, so uh, Ke- Keenum's a Keenum's a decent backup to have. But Beathard for Trevor Lawrence, yeah, no, not so much. Um, so, I mean, listen, we'll we'll see what happens. But it really has uh, it's gotten tight there. It's uh, it's uh, three uh, three way tie right now, and um, you know we got three games left, and yeah, injuries could decide who wins this division because again you know if trevor lawrence misses any time especially with these last three games i mean it's it's possible jags could fall out and you know it could miss the playoffs too i mean it's but that's also possible because of how jam-packed the wild card is i mean they do have the tiebreaker over the bills um because they did beat them um you know i mean but they don't have the tiebreaker over the Bengals. Bengals beat them with Jake Browning. 
Um, same thing with the Browns. I mean, they beat the Steelers. Um, so, but yeah, I, I mean, I mean, this is a scenario where all three teams can make the playoffs, but it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really tough. It's gonna be really tough for that because uh, I like the Bills to you know take one of those wild card spots with how they're playing. Um, but um, but we'll see. You know, um, that uh, that last game of the regular season between the Colts and the Texans could be huge because that could decide, uh, you know, which one of those teams is going to make it. So, uh, but Stroud's got to come back. And again, it doesn't look like he's going to play again this week, uh, which again, unfortunate because he was having such a great year. Um, but he, I mean, he should be back at some point. But um, you know, at least for another week, he's going to be out. Um. So, hopefully he gets back soon. And the other thing, too, is the, the Texans, they got a lot of injuries, you know, besides Stroud. Yeah, so he was held out of practice on Wednesday. But, yeah, it, they're prepping for Case Keenum to start. But, yeah, you also got Nico Collins being out, too. Um, you know, Tank Dell, obviously. So, they're missing people. So, um, you know, hopefully you at least get Nico Collins back. Uh, Dolan Schultz missed a couple of games, but he he's come back as well um made a big catch um you know in that game where it looked like it was going to get picked but you know schultz uh, was able to catch it um you know so you know we'll see and devin singletary's been making plays for him too so you know i mean at least you know for the texans they're at home um you know for this week i mean but it's gonna be a tough game against the browns you know so uh, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much it when it comes to the AFC South. Uh, I I still lean towards the Jags because um, I I just find it hard to um, I find it hard to believe that they're not going to win it. But I mean again, if Trevor Lawrence doesn't play this week, that's really going to hurt them. So, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it with this topic. Let me know what you guys think on who do you think is going to win the AFC South. It's going to be close regardless. I mean, it's with everything, you know, the wild cards and, and other divisions as well. Um, you know, the NFC South, too. I mean, look at that division. Um, I mean, at least with these teams, you got winning records. I mean, the, the best record in that division is 7-7 seven and seven right now. So, and odds are that division's probably going to finish with another losing record this year. So, the, the winner of that division. But um, let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to win the AFC South here? So when we come back from our first break of the show, we're going to talk about uh, the MVP odds. We'll give you an update on that. Um, you know, who is currently the favorite. I'll give you my thoughts on that. And uh, that is what we will do when we come back from our first break of the show. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 